Hi, my name's Patrick. I'm in my wood shop today, and I've decided to make a chair. So, what I did today, this morning, was measure the table that I sit at for breakfast, uh, measured the height of the tabletop, and just kind of figured out how far I want the seat to be from the table so I could sit comfortably. I measured my legs and the size of my ass to figure out how big I want the seat to be. And uh, I started out with this scale drawing here. This is basically a side profile of the chair I'm gonna build. So what I'll do now is that I've got this drawing is I'll just cut out these shapes with the jigsaw and then I'll keep those as templates that I can then offer up to uh, a board that I got out of the sawmill today and rough, rough out those shapes on the bandsaw, uh, clean them up, and then join them together and carry on making this chair. So, here we go. We're using white oak today. It's a really nice board. It's a uh, quarter sawn. I'm gonna go ahead and I got my thickness plater set up here and I'm just gonna kind of plane these down to all the same thickness. So you might have noticed how I left a little bit at the end of each one of these. And the reason for that is so that I can gang them up like this and plane them all at the same time so they come out exactly the same size. Now we're gonna take them over and uh, hit them with the uh, power plane and get them all nice and uh, true to the lines.
I'm about to glue together this first joint on the legs here. And um, to do that, I'm gonna use the biscuit joiner. Uh, this is a pretty cool tool where it sends this little circular blade into the, into the piece. And I can do that both sides uh, at the same point by just marking with a little mark right there. And then lining up with this little dial reader here. And, um, and then once I cut that little groove in the face, I can slide this little biscuit in that slot and it'll strengthen the glue joint and it'll also ensure that both legs join each other at the same plane. Uh, because I can set the depth of the, I can set the vertical depth of the biscuit joiner with this uh, little fence here and ensure that it's matching on both sides and therefore the biscuit's gonna be at the same level and it'll join together at the same plane. So let's go ahead and bust that out. So there's my little slot. Drop a biscuit in there. And you see that's nice and even on the same plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, glue these up and let the glue set and then we'll uh, carry on with the next step. So this first joint of the legs is pretty much done for now. Next thing we wanna do is fit the seat rest part uh, onto the top of this here. And to get this to fit exactly right, uh, I'm gonna be using a router and gonna set up a little jig. I got some pieces of plywood cut out here and, and set these, pieces of ply up around the legs and then we're going to take this piece which is also kind of rough cut and just set that over all of the plywood sections and then staple it on. So now I've got the shape of the legs. And what I'll do is position this right over where I want to cut. And I'm using a top bearing router here where you can see there's a little uh, ball bearing on the right by the shank. And so that bearing will ride along the edge of the plywood and get that the shape of the recess out of the seat rest thing here. Let's give it a shot and see if it works. So that went pretty well. And now I'll just use this edge here with the router to finish it up. And then I'll be able to use this piece to transfer the lines and make the next one.
So I just cut out this piece. So far we've got the two legs that join to the seat part. Uh, and there's two of those that are gonna go next to each other. And this is gonna be the bridge in between those two. And what's important about this piece, it's got this little bevel right here. And so that's going to um, give the legs of the chair a little flare out from the front and back view. It poses a little bit of a problem with the back rest of the seat. So I want the, the pieces that come up to mount the back of the seat, I want them to go straight up. Um, so for example, you know, if, if this was the leg of my chair, it's going to be flared out like this, but I want the back of the seat to stick straight up like that. And so what I did was I measured this bevel and cut out a matching angle on a couple of pieces of plywood. And so what I'll be able to do with this is mount it onto the piece that we already have and then run my router across the, um, the edge of it to make that uh, beveled recess slot that we can, that we can mount the seat back on. Uh, um, uh, um, um, uh. I'm gonna go set it up and maybe it'll make more sense when I'm actually doing it. Who knows, let's check it out. Next step is to mount the little crossbar for the, for the legs that's going to hold the footrest. Since the legs are going to be flared out uh, when the chair's assembled, I want to set this in at an angle that's going to counter that flare. And so this is the same little wedge jig that I used to cut out this recess up here for the backrest and I mounted it onto the table and what I can do now is set this up and then I can line that up and place my cross part how I want it and then then I can take this piece grab a couple screws and just tack it in. And that way I'll have both of these side rails to guide my router as I carve out the recess from in there. So let me get this all mounted up and clamped and we'll give it a shot. Okay, <clears throat> time for a test fit. Let's see which way does it go. Oh! I just fell right into the slot. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. All right, cool. Well, I'm 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 psyched about that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, glue. I'm gonna glue up these joints and um, and then I uh, think I'm gonna go uh, get some dinner and then tomorrow we'll assemble the chair. Stoked.
This little combo is gonna be my seat and my back. So I got a bunch of pieces of eighth inch plywood cut up here and I cut out five of these molds out of two by six and I'm going to use a bunch of clamps and spread a bunch of glue in between all these layers and just clamp it down and it should bend to the form of this uh, of this mold here. Well, that was a little bit of a hot mess. I almost ran out of clamps, <laughs> but it looks really tight. No gaps in between the ply. I'm just gonna not touch this because I don't want it to explode and uh, check it out in a few hours. <music> Check it out! Wow! That worked great! Okay, so I got the seat done. The back is all done and shaped. Um, we can kind of start to see the, the final chair here. I'm gonna go ahead and chamfer these edges, the kind of sharp edges. Um, also, I just got a, I did a lot of flush cuts on all these dowels, so I gotta sand them up. I put a dowel into the bottom of this uh, piece here to just kind of hold that in better and then I want to do a little bit of shaping here a lot of uh, grinding and sanding in my future and then we can put some finish on the chair put the seat on and the back and then we can finally sit down
Hey, that was a lot of fun. I'm in love with my new chair. It's actually super comfortable with that cup seat and uh, super strong. Uh, I just want to say, hey, thanks so much for uh, watching this little movie. Uh, feel free to get in touch if you want on my email or on my Instagram. And uh, hopefully I'll be making some more uh, little movies. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.